you will need a ruler, balance or scale, weighing boats, 30cc syringe without plunger, 30cc syringe with plunger, wooden blocks, 8, nuts, sugar baggie, and water, which you will provide. Density of a regular object. First, turn your balance on by pressing the power button. Once you have placed it on a flat level surface, press the tear button to zero the balance. This tells the balance you are starting with nothing. Be sure the balance is in the unit of grams. If it is not, press the unit button until grams is displayed, usually abbreviated as G. Place one wooden block on the balance and record its mass in the data table. Next, using your ruler, measure the length in centimeters, then the width, and finally the height. Be sure to record these values in your data table. Repeat this for all eight blocks. It can help to label each block one through eight to keep track of them. Then you'll calculate the volume of each block. To do this, just multiply the block's length times its width times its height. Do this for each of the eight blocks. Then calculate the density. To do this, divide the mass of the block by the volume. Again, do this for all eight blocks. Next, assemble all the blocks into a single cube block. Measure the height, width, and length of this eight cube block. Determine the mass of the block by placing it on the balance, then calculate its density. Density of an irregular object. First measure the mass of two of the nuts by using your balance. Record this in your data table. Next fill the syringe without plunger with water. Remember to read the graduations properly. The largest graduations are five mils. The small graduations are one mil, and the smallest increments are 0.2 milliliters. Practice reading these two examples. What is the volume in this case? It is 10.4 milliliters. What about in this case? It is 21.9 milliliters. Once you are confident in your measuring abilities, record the amount of water in your syringe. Then place two nuts in the syringe and record this new volume exactly. Determine the volume of the nuts by subtracting the first volume measurement from the second. You can then calculate the density of the nuts by dividing the mass of the nuts from the volume you just calculated. Repeat this process for the other envelope of nuts. Density of sugar water. You will need two to three plastic cups, sugar baggie, balance, weighing boats, water, syringe without plunger, plastic spatula, and plastic spoon. First, turn on and tear your balance. Add a weigh boat to the balance and tear it. Use your spatula to weigh out 5.00 grams of sugar. You can go quickly at first, but be sure to slow as you approach 5 grams. Add the 5 grams of sugar to an empty cup. To measure the water, you can use a syringe without plunger. Remember to read the graduation properly. Add the water to the cup with sugar. And using your spoon, you can mix and dissolve the sugar. Turn the balance on and add empty cup and tear it. Take your sugar water and pour it into the syringe and measure the new volume. Is it more or less than the original 25 mils? Why is this? Add 
After recording this volume, pour into the teared cup on the balance and record its mass. Determine the density of this sugar solution. 